uh, what's up? So, hi, I look different, right? Um, I think I might, well, who knows? This stupid blowfish ca camera might still make me look like massive on top. But I did have the implants removed, as you guys know, if you follow me um, on Instagram. I always say that, it's so annoying. It's like, I don't know what my problem is, but, um, and you would probably like see more of what's like what's what's going on and like whatever. But my last video, I told you I was gonna get them out. I look at how much smaller I look, right? Like, I mean, I have gained like a little like some weight over the over the years. Like I'm not as skinny as I used to be, <laughs> even though I always I've always thought I was fat. But like I look better, right? And I think it's like the implants really really were just not good for my body and I'm gonna talk about it a little bit because I know a lot of you guys like want to know my opinion on it okay so um let me hold it up here see I look like way smaller I'm wearing like the coolest deck ever I'll show you guys later but um I look way smaller huh? I'm not wearing like an oversized shirt um I'm wearing like a shorter like it's kind of loose but actually when I stand up it's more loose okay so um I last if you guys have been following me on it on YouTube for like two a year and a half two years I think it's like a year and a half ago I wanted I went in to get implants like a boob job okay and it's some lipo on my flanks because that's just I grow like my I don't grow like this way I grow like wide you know some people just do and um, when I was whatever so that's what I did last year I was really excited about it and a lot of people told me you don't need boobs, boobs isn't your problem. Like my mom said, just get a lift. A lift is all you need. Um, anyway, I'm not gonna go through the whole thing again, but I'm very stubborn. Not that very, I don't know if I'm stubborn or what it, what's the word? I guess it is. I just have to, if I have something on my mind, I that's what I wanna do. You know what I mean? Like, so I've always been like that. Nothing can change. Like I'll, I'll always want to do whatever it is that's on my mind. Um, so I, anyway, so I went and I, it got, I got lipo, like you guys know, on my sides and I got a boob job. Anyway, I got out of the boob job and I, I knew right away they were like way too big, but even like, you know, I was waiting for them to calm down. I, I don't know. Horrible. Big mistake. They were way too big. I'm already very big on top and then they even made me look even bigger. Like I carry most, I, I have like a wide, like a broad I'm broad I'm broad and I have a big back you know what I mean like I that's like my body shape I don't I just thought that like putting I don't know why that putting boobs on would make it better it made it so much worse and I think that we weren't even able to see how like nice the lipo was because my boobs were such like in the way and it's just you know what I mean so I kind of wanted to like I, I feel like I can see my lipo better the jo lipo job I got done last time um, I feel like I can see it better now um, than when I had the boobs because the boobs made me look so big, right? So anyway, um, I know a lot of you guys are asking me to do a follow-up video and stuff. I don't really like gonna follow my whatever. I, I I'm just gonna say something. One thing about lipo, it's not gonna take away any like weight. It's not gonna take away any like mass from you. It's just going to like reshape you. So if you have like saddle bags or if you have like flanks it will get rid of that but it's not gonna like take away you're not gonna become like skinny from liposuction um anyway so that's what I wanted to let you guys know and also um this time I got my implants out and I got a lift and it was the best decision ever a lift like to completely changed my body like I can't even tell you I'm it just looks so good they are small like it's all real and they just like high and they I've always had boobs that kind of like they don't like go like that, you know what I mean? But they don't like go straight, they kind of go like that. So now I have like these perky little like nice boobs. I don't have to wear a bra at all because they're just like up. It's amazing. So I'm not telling you guys to do this or not. If you, I feel like you should do whatever the fuck you want to do. Like I, of course I always say like, you should listen to what your mom says because my mom was like, just get a lift. Whatever mom's, mom's always right. But I would have been like, always thinking about the boob job. I would've always been like, oh my God, like what if I look better with boobs? Like I wanna get boobs. I would've been thinking that. So I I think you should do what you wanna do and then if you don't like it, you can always have it like redone. You know what I mean? It's not the hugest fucking deal. That's my personal opinion on it, okay? And I kinda don't wanna talk about it anymore because it's kind of boring and like I'm sick of talking about it. Because not everyone gives a fuck about plastic surgery um, or whatever that's kind of shit. So, and that's like not my channel's. My, my channel's just about me, like whatever I want to talk about. I don't really want to talk about it right now. Okay, actually, I'm like, oh, is that a cop? 
You know the cops have like Ford Explorers now, right? Like on the freeway, they don't have like, it's weird, they have like new cars, so I'm like, what the fuck. Um, okay, so right now I'm going, okay, so oh my god, you guys, I'm kind of excited because like I'm kind of like skinny now, like I'm not like skinny, like, actually, like I'm not skinny, but I'm like skinnier, right? Like don't I look more acceptable? Can you like, can we look at me now? Like before I couldn't like look at me, right? Like I, I can like, kind of like look at myself a little bit before, whatever, I just said that a million times. Um, so... I want to go back to like the Korean mall and see if I can like find a like, cute shirt or something. I don't. I just want to like look around. Like I have over the past year, I've been so like down on myself, especially down, like I'm always down on myself, but especially down on myself because my body has just been so fucking whack. Like, you know, fuck you, bitch. Look at this stupid fuck. You see that? You just like cut me off. That's like the tackiest color do wagon ever. Like, freaking magenta. Was that like? It's like a tacky purple. Stupid. He's like, he's going on like the um the shoulder to like get in front of everyone like so annoying anyway so I feel like I can like kind of fit oh my god I'll tell you guys one more thing oh my god I'll tell you guys so um let me just tell you guys how big I actually was because of these boobs um I, I hardly shopped you guys know that because like I just wasn't fitting in anything like everything looked like such shit on me but um so I was going to Zara like a couple months ago before I had my implants taken out. I was going to Zara and like I was trying on some things and like nothing was fitting me. It's not even like the XL would fit me on top anymore. I was like couldn't even get it over. Like it was so horrible. So I just it was horrible. Like, nothing looked good. Um, so I went to Zara the other day and I got this. I'll show it. Maybe I'll show it to you guys later if I have time. Uh, or you'll see it on, on Instagram when I wear it. Cause I'm gonna wear it really soon. It's a black and red like little um, uh, leopard print black and red like dress with a zipper in the back so it zips up in the back and like are you kidding me with my huge implants that I had before and the fact that I gained like a little bit of weight like over the past years like I nothing would zip up on me nothing so I tried on the medium because it's all they had left they had a medium and an XL left and I was like I'm not a fucking XL anymore there's no way so I tried on the medium and it fits so perfect it's like the cutest like it's like I'm back into my like regular sizes like a little bit bigger than before but like I'm back into like, like normal ass sizes you know what I mean and it's all because of these stupid fucking implants that I had so annoying like I lived with those things for like a year and I think like three or four months like I said I knew I uh, didn't I say I was not gonna talk about this anymore anyway so that's what I'm doing I'm like I feel like because I can fit into clothes now oh here comes that g-wagon I'm not gonna let him over watch he's gonna like pull over and kill me right now fucking idiot tacky. If you're gonna have a G-Wagon, why do you get an obnoxious color like that? It's already such a loud car. It's like tacky. Can't even drive. I drive like shit. I hate people that drive like shit. It's so annoying. Um, oh my god, he has like purple headlights too. It's like it's just too much. Alright, uh, what was I gonna say? So yeah, I'm going to the Koreatown. Um, I haven't been to the Koreatown mall in a long time just because I've been like very discouraged, things like that. And I feel like I can probably fit into things now without looking like so disgusting. Like, I feel very intimidated when I go into the Korea town markets already because like a lot of like the sh little vendor people, like, or the vendor, like they just like only used to dealing with like them like Koreans, like you know what I mean? And they like I don't want them to be like, what is this like fat white girl coming in here for? You know what I mean? Like I don't want to get like <laughs> I don't know I don't know why I feel like that they would they would say that, but that's what I feel like. So now that I'm not like so fat, I feel like I can go back. <laughs> But um, that's my plan right now, so I'll take you guys with me, and what else am I going to talk about? I don't really know what I'm talking about. I hope I don't look like complete shit right now. I just, um, this, whatever, and there's like so much fucking traffic. I think I'm going to go to two. I think I'm going to go to the Galleria, and I'm going to go to, and they're not like nice malls. You guys know that? If you've seen my other videos, they're like very old, outdated, like 90s malls with like really weird like stores. Like it's not like something to like do. It's not like a cute place to go. Um, I just like it because they have different things, you know, like different clothes, like, you know, Korea make Korean makeup, um, just stuff like that. Did I cut out? Oh, I cut off a cop just now. I literally cut off a cop who um, has no lights on his head. He has no lights, so he's like a secret cop. And please don't fucking pull me over. I didn't cut you off, him off, did I? Okay, so I'm almost to the, um, Koreatown Plaza that I'm going to go to, but I want to like, I, I, I know that I sound like very jumbled, even like in that, la I almost like refilmed what I just put up, but I'm not going to refilm it because it's just so stupid. Like I'm not like fake with you guys, but I'm very, my head is like so crazy right now and I'm not, I don't ever get into like any kind of political stuff or anything like that because it's just completely relevant. Everyone has a different opinion and I think that's amazing. Like I don't, that's 
that's what America's all about. But, um, so I'm, I would never, like, tell you guys any, like, whatever. I, I don't talk about that shit, but my head is just so fucked up because I was watching the Kavanaugh thing this, you know, I've been watching it all day, and, um, I'm just, I'm fucked in the head, you know what I mean? Like, I just, I just am, like, so, I'm not gonna say what I feel, because whatever, I'm just keeping like that, because, like I said, I've I have friends of every political party and thought and everything so that's not what my like thing is here but that's why I am just like kind of like repeating myself even more than you I feel like the last clip like I'm just like all over the place you know what I mean kind of like so don't judge me on that please don't judge me on that I'm just out of surgery like like less than a week I'm still recovering and I, I'm really emotional because of like that whole the whole Kavanaugh thing today it's just way too much like oh my god and um so anyway, I was going to try and calm down and, um, I don't know, a lot of people probably aren't political, so we maybe don't care, but, um, whatever. So, I'm, I'm talking, texting tells right now. But, okay, I'm almost there, and I, I wanted to, like make, like, make an excuse for myself because I'm, like, stuttering all over the fucking place, like, more than usual, I feel like. And I think, like, when I have a lot going on during my day, I always have a lot going on during my day, but when I have, like, not only, like, work, but, like, family things and like other things like in the world going on like I'm get extra like loopy not loop you know what I mean scatterbrained what's, what's the word not to mention I'm driving uh, in the most in the worst traffic area ever so there's just so many different like aspects to why I'm like jumbled okay bye <laughs> in that game anyway should we draw any conclusion that a loss of recollection associated with alcohol was involved in you not knowing who won the games that you attended. Now, uh, first of all, the Georgetown Louisville was watching it on TV, a party, and the and so right. consistent with drinking. Sorry, that was the Kavanaugh thing I've been listening to. I like honestly was just gonna sit and watch it at home all day long, but I really wanted to. My plan was to come today. I didn't realize, how, I, I just, whatever. I was not, I, I wanted to come to the Korean market today, or Korean place, um, so. But then I started listening to it in the, this place has never been this busy. I always get like a front space. Oh, here's one, okay, good. I usually get way more front space though. This is like a really good space. Okay, good. It's like big. All right, let's see if you can like see my outfit too. Um, Oh, I gotta tell you something else. So, um, just so you know, I am offering 15% off my entire site right now. Um, I usually do like a moon festival offer. Always do a moon festival for Chinese moon festival, but I was recovering, so I didn't have time to go get moon cakes or anything. I felt so bad. So, um, then I just decided to do a, like a new me. We're moving into a new office. We got a new office space, um, which you guys probably saw too. Anyway, so it's 15% off of the site right now. I think I'm going to do it through Saturday so don't miss out I've already um, done it I started it yesterday and today and I'm letting you guys know today but um I want to show you my stack so everything no matter what is 15% off and I want to show you this piece which I love so much this is my new piece it's not on my site yet and I love this is not on as I didn't I said it's not on the site um this is not on the site it's made with 14k gold fill actually everything that I do now is 14k gold fill and then this unique little clasp it's like a um, almost like a safety pin but not it's like a, a closure that's kind of like the style with real pearls on it real natural pearls that part is 14 karat solid gold it's not gold fill just so you know so this one um, if you want this piece it's just really cool what's cool about it is you can attach it to any link so you can make it a necklace or you can make it a lariat like I'm wearing it here if you want a longer lariat I can do that for you as well um, I'm, this one I'm offering it it's um, this one is $185 for this piece. And that's a it's a pretty expensive piece for my line. Like I don't usually do pieces that expensive, but I just loved this piece right here and just the way it works when I designed it. I was like, I have to do it. It's so pretty. Um, and I'm offering $10 off until I put it on my site. So it's actually $170 and then you can get 15% off of it too. But this is only email via email. But everything else I'm wearing, um, Ritz Lariat, and this is my Toujours, um, it's like a toujours long choker, which I wear all the time. And then um, this is my natural pearl. It's the uh, Treasure Mermaid's Trove. And I love this piece. I love it. It's like a Baroque pearl and so AB. And of course, my bubble heart hoops, which I love so much. 15% um, off. Don't miss out. Oh, the code. Code is new, new. N-E-W, N-E-W. Um, and then I'm wearing this shirt from Cotton On, which I really like. And then those pants are from Airy. Uh, and then I'm wearing this bag that I got in Paris, which I really, really love. And I got 
this and my friend Alex actually got this bag as well. Um, she got it in the maroon and I got it in this color. Um, Alex from Milan, you guys know her. <laughs> okay, okay, let me show you my fucking outfit. Let me see if I can even try. You guys know I can hardly even get in the fucking car. Oh, my hair is wet. I've been like doing the same thing. Let me, let me bring. By the way, I can't use my arms too much because I'm still like recovering. Even like, like leaning, I shouldn't even be leaning. I'm just, oh my god, my head is like a mess from this. Like, I don't know. You guys probably like, what are you talking about? I don't watch like political shit. But, oh my god, it's hard to get out because I can't use my hands. It looks smaller. It looks smaller, right? Oh my god, it looks so much smaller. See, it's the fucking boobs. I look smaller, right? Thank you. And it's still blowfish right here, so. Skinny legend. Right. Please don't eat anything, Alex. Please don't fucking eat anything, though. I just feel like I look better. Okay, let's go. I don't wanna, I don't like, don't really like carrying this around because I don't know, is I feel like I'm like one of the only like white people in here. Everyone's Korean and I'm already like annoying for being here. They'll probably like get out of my place um, and I'm carrying on a camera, you know what I mean? So I'm not gonna try to be like so annoying about it. Like, I love it. It's like such a throwback mall. That there's like, this is like the more expensive mall. There's like a cheaper mall somewhere. This, there's like this place right here that has like um, real designer things. So I'll go check it out, but I don't think I like cameras. Can I show you guys this elevator that I want in my house? Look at this, it's so 70s. This is like the same elevator that Elvira from Scarface who came in. Remember, she's like this. Remember? Go up, please. I love it. Oh my god, it's all like, it lights up at night. I love anything like gold brass. Okay, there's one more place. Oh, they have that. See that green dress? I it's when I got um I got that dress with like flowers on it. I look so fat in it though. It's Zadig Voltaire. So this, this place looks kind of bougie. I don't want to go like bougie places. I want to go to like. You know, like, just cute places. It's like a nice alternative to yoga pants, right? I'm gonna show you this Rice Krispies, like it's so good. I usually get it for Judy and me, but it's like too fattening, so I'm not going to. But it's like multicolor, and it's so cute. It's so good too, but I just got um, a mocha with just one pump of chocolate, and I'm not gonna drink the whole thing. I just kind of wanted something chocolatey. Thinking about going into the market too, but I'm not sure. The security guard is probably gonna come over and be like, eh, camera. Problem is, like, I think I'm already like a spectacle because I stand out. Here he comes. I wanna show you guys, oh, I wanna show you guys the lid here too. The lid's like amazing. When I sit down and drink the coffee, because the lid is like. I changed the lid. The lid used to be the best lid ever. I think my life is over. Seriously, I was like so excited to show you guys this fucking lid. Literally, it's like a throwback, throwback in here. It's like I'm in like living in the 90s.
mean, honestly, it's like not good. Let's be real. Tastes like water. It tastes like fucking so much shit in my water. So annoying. Let's look at the water. I'm just like, I literally, I'm so paranoid. I feel like someone's gonna come on the top of my shoulder and I'm just gonna get all pissed off. Where's the water? They have that like Korean water here last time. Oh yeah, they do. Look at this like bougie water. It's like not from here. So anything from not here is like bougie. Look at the Korean writing on it. It's like so bougie. <laughs> okay, let's see what kind of ugly water they have. Honestly, so ugly. So ugly. The ugliest water ever. So annoyed. They usually have that one in a small one. I don't like big water bottles like that, like small ones, they don't have it. Alright, I don't even know what I'm doing here. I don't need that soap, but I really want that here. Can you guys make sure you get that fucking soap? It is the best. It smells like mint. This one, just in case. You need this one. $15 though. It's like so overpriced, right? $15 for fucking soap. Okay, so I just left. Um, and honestly, like, I haven't eaten anything today. And I want, really wanted that coffee because I feel like a mocha is kind of like heavy. You know what I mean? Um, so I thought that was going to like fill me up but it was so disgusting I literally had to like toss it like, it was just not it was no point to even like drink one more of that calorie was like horrible it, ugh. it literally tastes like I like tried to make it at home and like didn't have the ingredients you know what I mean it's like so fucking bad so now I don't know I'm gonna, I'm gonna go one I'm gonna go to one more store that I love hopefully they have some things like, like I said I have not been in such a long time to like, any of these stores oh that white dress I just put on for you guys um that was a medium and then I was weight was very big even though honestly I wanted the big one but I asked the lady I was like do you think the medium's too big and then they had an extra small or actually an extra it's already oversized oversized and she's like put them both on so I put the extra small on and she's like this is way better and it was it's still big but you guys know me with huge clothes like I always get the bigger one but I got the smaller one just because I'm like just like listen to other people for once in your life like whatever um so the one you saw me in was the medium it was too big and I got this extra small it's like it's better and it's like it's so fun it's actually it's, it's McQueen and it was like $500 but it was like 60% off or something so I think I paid like $250 for it um some, I don't know something like that but so cute it had like spark diamonds like sewn on diamonds and it was like it was just so like K, you know, like Korean-ish, like the big, you'll see it's like a baby doll dress. It's so, so cute. But now that I like have small like up boobs, I can like come, totally wear it, like wear it better than I could have worn it before. I like look less broad with like this lift. I'm like so excited. Um, okay, so now maybe I can like, buy something else at this place. Like hopefully I'm so excited. Um, okay, I should have gone left there, fuck. We'll see. I've been to this place before. Look at this pink top though. So cute. I think it's called Document. But um, I got the maple syrup. It's like the one that Elon does, that um, Alex does. It's really good, but obviously Elon's way better, honestly. <laughs> but look at this pink top. It's like London reminiscent. I can actually drink it, so I like it. You know what I mean? It's good. It's not amazing, but it's good. And I asked for only a quarter amount of the maple syrup because I knew it was going to be like, too sweet. Is this lighting like really, really bad? I can't tell. I just want to show you guys what I got. And by the way, I'm still drinking. My hair is like a mess, but once I like brush it out and stuff, let me see if I want to brush. It will like get cuter. See, okay, that's actually revolting. Never mind. Um, 
Wait, oh my god. Ugh. Okay, so I'm still drinking my coffee, which I, I which is a good sign because if I don't like my like the coffee, I like, throw it away after like four sips, or I like leave it in a store, um, like, just forget about it. But the fact that I've like looked after this and I still have it means I like it. So I figured I would just show you guys what I got today. I know you're probably like, oh my god, what did you get? What did you get? Okay. So at the first place that I went with the makeup, let me show you guys, is Atrium. And I'm not going to like say every single store name because I just don't want to. Um, but the first one is like Atrium. Everyone knows that one. And I got, um, let me show you guys my favorite. I got the eyebrow pencils there, these eyebrow pencils. And um, then I like them because they always give you samples too. They gave me these samples, which I love. And they, there's like a lot. They give you a lot of samples. I can't like they're really like generous there. Um, anyway, my favorite is this lipstick. Is this number one Mamond? It's creamy tint, color bomb intense. Number one. Here it is. If you guys want to like screenshot this or whatever when you go next time, this is my like second tube. It looks like this. And it just is like the color of my lips, which I really like. See? That one. And then I saw this one today too, and it's a little bit like more orangey. And you guys know I love orange things. Um, so let me try this with you. I just want to show you. This one is the number two, and I love this color. It's so 70s. Oh, this is so much nicer, actually. So cool, right? I love it. Oh my god, this is so bomb. I'm so excited. Okay, so I got it from the first place. And then I went into this other place and like the lady was actually like very rude in there. Like that's what I think might mean. Like I feel like they don't even like I I feel like talking like they, like I don't know, is that rude? What I don't get it, like some some like stores like are so nice, and other stores like they just don't like want you in there. Like they're like, okay, bye. I don't I don't get it. Okay, so this one I got that um that long black skirt and I was thinking oh my god this is such a nice alternative to yoga pants just a long tight spandex skirt that is tight everywhere but it's casual because it's cotton you know what I mean so just wear like a big t-shirt over like a sweatshirt um it was very overpriced it was $45 um for this and I know like I just went to the store right now and they had the same exact one for that's so a human being right here oh my god oh, I thought it, was, it looks like it's a palm tree but that was a face um so I, I think they get like their clothes from like the same places but uh, whatever okay I got ripped off all right then I got this oh yeah let me show you guys the, the big like oversized baby doll dress I got just because I want you to see the detail on it this is and let me show you the price Ew, it's like so like actually not that nice in person so it is McQueen made in Turkey and then here's like this and it was it was $480 originally it's an extra extra small um, $480 but it was 50% off or something and then here's the detail on the top and then the sleeves are like that you know what I mean and the bottom has that ruffle too I cannot wait to wear this this is like oh so so cute and like because I'm like so flat now it just looks like the best. Okay, then I went to this store and I got the last store just now, and I got these socks. I've always I love to wear like socks. You guys know I have my baby girl socks that I have like those the free gift with purchase socks. Um, a fishnet. I love wearing socks with my slides all the time. These are like sparkly, so in like really mer like a green mermaidy one, and then a silver black one. I love I love socks like with um, with slides. Okay. Then I got this outfit, which I really like, and this place is a really great for basics, and it's in, it's on Western, I don't know, whatever, I can't even, I don't even know what the fuck I am. This is a long, huge, long black hoodie, huge, long black hoodie, and it's like a dress, but it's a hoodie. So it goes all the way down. It's really cool. 
And then look at this. So then I got some of these, like I got some joggers too. What do they call? They're just sweatpants, sweatpants, but they're really nice quality. And then I got this, and I love the um, the neck of this sweatshirt. It has like a V. Isn't that cool? It's kind of sick, right? I love this like neck. So that's what I got. Do we like it? I don't know. I kind of like it. Kind of think I did like a fairly decent job. I feel like I don't have anything else to report right now. Um, do I? Please don't park next to me. Okay. Um, so I think I'm going to get going. The traffic, which, oh my god, it's 4 o'clock. It's going to be so fucking horrible getting home. Mm. Like, problem is, there's literally, like, a McDonald's, like, right here. And, like, I could really, really use, like, one fish fillet or something. It's, like, something to eat. But now that I have, like, now that I, like, feel good about my body, I don't want to, like, fuck it up. But I'm really hungry. I just really want something to eat. I have like, I have a piece of cold pizza at home I could eat. Should I just wait till I get home? Like try the new pastrami thick burger today? No, thank you. Can I have the charbroil, uh, the charbroil chicken salad, please? A chicken salad and a dressing for that? Um, no dressing. No dressing, okay. And a small Diet Coke. Does that complete your order? Yes, thank you. Okay, $7.64. Can we talk about like, we talk about how thin I'm gonna be after I eat a dry salad right now. It's 280 calories the way it comes. If you get it with ranch, it's like 490 or something. So I love this salad. I'm at Carl's Jr. The charbroil chicken salad, but you can't get dressing on it because the dressing is so fattening. It's good because um, it's like a deconstructed chicken sandwich because they give you like tomato, onion, the chicken breast. And the chicken breast is um, kind of like barbecue-ish, I think. Um, and like all like lettuce. And they also give you some croutons. I might ask for one side of the house dressing. That's like the small one instead of like the big pack. I'm not sure. There might be like, there's probably like 50 calories in that. I might do that just to like break it up a little bit actually. God, I'm so hungry, you guys. Could have gotten a burger. I could have gotten a fucking burger. This is like a whole chicken breast right here. And then there's like tomatoes and onion and a little bit of cheese. But the chicken breast is warm. Sometimes it's cold. And it's like super sauteed. Sorry, I'm just going to use this my hands right now because I'm disgusting. It's so good. And then I got this tiny thing of house dressing on the side just in case. But I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. I love the onion in it. I wish they gave me a knife because I want to cut the onion up. But... All right, guys, I'm going to go. And don't forget to go to my site. Everything's 15% off right now through Saturday, likely. So don't miss out. And you know you can always email me if you want to like order something or if you're not sure about something. I'm always there to help with orders. I love doing that. So bye.